Hey YouTubers, um, I've kind of been busy and that's why I haven't been posting, but I kind of want to post about what I've been busy about. I've been researching a lot about codependency and apparently it's kind of a big thing with bipolars and I wasn't aware of it. And I kind of knew I had it, my mother had brought it up to me, but um, the fact is I never researched it. So. Recently I've been researching it, and apparently it's very common in bipolar disorder, so I wanted to kind of share a few things with you. Now, I'm reading out of the book, Love is a Choice, Recovery for Codependent Relationships, and there's the authors. I can put them below for you, too. Um, dropping things. Um, in the book, there's one page, and it says stop the top ten traits of codependency, and I'm going to read them off to you. Um, one driven by compulsions. Two, bound and often tormented by the way things were in a dysfunctional family. Three, low self-esteem and or maturity. Four, hap happiness hinges on others. Five, feels responsible for others. Six, relationships marred by lack of balance between independency and dependency. Uh, six, masters of dependency. I just say sick twice. I don't know. Anyway, uh, worries about unchangeable things, uh, punctuated by extremes, and always looking for more in life. So a few of these are already connected to bipolar disorder, such as the punctuated by extremes, the um, tormented by dysfunctional past. Um, can't think. Oh. Masters of Denial and Repression, that was one I missed. And that's also a bipolar um, trait. So I don't know much about this. I've just started. Uh, the only thing that I can do is read you the traits and then read you. Um, in the book, it's got the 10 stages of the recovery process. And this one I'm going to read right out of the book. And it says, one, exploration and discovery. Uh, you will explore your past and present to discover the truth about you. Two, relationship history inventory. You'll examine and perhaps reset your personal boundaries. Three, addiction control. You'll get a handle on your addictions and compulsions and take the first steps towards mastering them. Four, leaving home and saying goodbye. You'll say the goodbyes appropriate to healing. You may think you did it years ago. Probably you didn't. Five, grieving your loss. Grieving is both the bottom of the curve the very pits of your emotion and feeling, and also the start upward. It's almost like your dentist hanging up the drill. You know he's not done yet, but the worst is over. Six, new self perceptions. You will gain fresh perceptions about yourself and make new decisions. What an eye opener this stage is. Seven, new experiences. You will build a foundation of experiences to bolster the decisions you've just made. Eight, reparenting. You will rebuild your past in a sense, and also the present and future, as you become involved in what we call reparenting. Number nine, relationship accountability. You will establish accountability for your new and refreshed personal relationships. And number ten is maintenance. You will embark on maintenance program that will keep you on a track for the remainder of your life. So, I haven't quite gotten there yet. But that's the thing. And then it's got a picture right here of the path that you would go on. You, sorry, you start over here on exploration and discovery. You end up there at maintenance. And then the bottom is grief. So it's a good book. I'm enjoying it. Not enjoying it, but it, I'm learning a lot from it. Um, I also just got another book, Codependent No More. So I haven't even started reading that one yet. Um, but basically, um, I'm just kind of hoping I help someone discover that they're codependent. I don't know. I'm no doctor. I can't tell you exactly what's going on. But um, I can tell you that I've found out that I'm codependent by reading a couple of these books and what I found on the internet. So, um, yeah, good luck. Uh, I hope I help somebody this time. I know it's not actually about bipolar disorder, but it is something that bi most bipolars have, apparently. Um, I've been working through it, and I hope I helped you guys. So, um, I guess that's it. Bye.